Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be trying the viral TikTok foundation routine from our one and only Meredith Duxbury. This is her. Shout out to her because this is going viral everywhere and I just wanted to give it a try. If you wanna see if I like this technique or not, go ahead and keep watching. If you are new, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, let me know down below what kind of videos you wanna see and enjoy. Um, the first thing that Meredith tends to do in these videos is she likes to apply a silicone. It looks like a silicone based um, foundation. Sorry, she likes to apply a silicone based primer. So for the primer today, I'm going to be going in with Frankie Rose. Um, this is their primer addiction. This is what it looks like. It's almost clear, which is basically what Meredith likes to apply first. So I'm just going to, I'm going to get like a good amount, like a glob right here, which is kind of a lot. And I'm going to focus it on the pores. And for this, I I did like a light shave on the face because I wanted to see how full coverage this would be. Right away, there is a blurring effect on this primer. And you know my eye is just a little irritated on the side. Oh God, already this feels very thick. She applies her primer with her fingers. After Meredith applies her primer, she goes straight into foundation. And what I've noticed with her foundation application is Meredith tends to she likes to mix two foundations first so I'm gonna be using my full coverage foundations which are my Huda and my Urban Decay All Nighter foundation I really like these foundations the only problem I have with the All Nighter is that it oxidizes so much and I am not even trying to be shady girl so she likes to mix the foundation on the back of her hands just like this and this is like what she's known for right here. She applies it directly down the nose. If you see me looking down, I'm looking at the mirror because obviously I can't look at the mo I can't look at the screen and not know where to apply the foundation. So this is how Meredith likes to apply it. If you do need a little bit more, which I know some girls will, like me, me going in for seconds, <laughs> you can go ahead and put more. Sorry, I'm posing for my fucking clickbait. <laughs> you guys are gonna see this and you're gonna cringe. So once she has this much foundation on, she goes straight in with her fingers. As you can see, there's nothing on my nothing on my little piggies. <laughs> and I'm just gonna rub in the foundation. Meredith just literally just rubs that in. The coverage is amazing, actually. <laughs> Me putting four layers of foundation on and wondering why it's such an amazing coverage. <laughs> so Oh my god! Oh my god! I forgot my Meredith headband! <laughs> right there. And then she always takes it right over the eyes. I don't know if she has like a technique for like applying the foundation with her hand. Okay, just from this one layer, the coverage is there. It's just because I blended it out with my hand, it's kind of like disgusting looking like i don't know how to explain it to you guys but i'm going to wash my hands and i'll be right back to do the next step okay so i i put gloves on because i didn't want to wash my hands again once meredith finishes applying her foundation with her hand you see her like blending her makeup with a sponge a bit because i don't have the foundation droplets that meredith tends to go in i'm just going to pick out another foundation which is going to be the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation. She tends to focus her drops at the top of the head, but I'm just gonna put a bit around. And then for this layer, I believe she goes in with a sponge. So then after the third layer of foundation, Meredith then applies her concealer. This concealer is also very full coverage. My eyes are starting to water, I think because there's so much product on right now. Um, normally I'm <laughs> normally I'm a one layer type of girl. <laughs> so after this, you basically set everything and you do the rest of your face. I'm gonna be right back. So far, the foundation looks really good. It's just a very it's a very full coverage application. The skin looks amazing on camera. It looks really, really smooth, really seamless. But I'm gonna finish the rest of the makeup off camera and then I'll be back to let you guys know how I feel. Okay guys, so this is the final look. The skin looks amazing. However, the one thing that I do notice is that the texture, like because there's so much layers of foundation, I feel like it's a lot more intense um, in the skin. And when you come up close, you can literally see like all the creases and everything. 
but I do think that it is because there are like three layers of foundation literally on the skin right here um there is like kind of like a patch I'm not too sure but normally when I go out I don't really have those two patches like just on the side of the head like that foundation from from far away and on camera when you come up close you can see like everything like the under eyes are so intensely creased the texture on my forehead look right here like the hack it's really good for like filming and stuff like i really i honestly really like how it looks like from away like from here when you're over there when you're up close get out baby get away back up scoot away um overall i would not i would not recommend this technique if you're gonna go somewhere where there's a lot of people if you're planning on going out i would i just personally would not recommend this routine um the only reason why i wouldn't recommend this is just because like up close and personal you can literally see everything all i'm saying is that it doesn't work for me just because it doesn't work for me might not might not necessarily be the same for you or for meredith but for me because i do have more textured skin and i have like bigger under eyes and things of that nature overall i think that everyone should just give it a try if you like it you like it if you hate it you hate it but for me i just would not personally use this technique to go anywhere thank you guys so much for watching i hope you liked the video if you did like the video please give it a fat thumbs up it really does help me a lot um go ahead and let me know down below what kind of videos you want to see next and on top of that let me know if you would try this routine and yeah have a good day